Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. Good morning, viewers, and welcome back to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Coming to you here live from the Fort Mall in Scarborough, Tobago. We're just at about 7.39 a.m. this morning. And in this segment, we are chatting Nurses Week 2023. And we have on with us Lorene Roberts, lead staff representative of the Toronto Tobago Registered Nurses Association the Tobago branch. Good morning and welcome to you. Good morning, Mr. Skate. All right, so I want you very quickly, uh, because you know that's a natural misunderstanding persons can have. When you talk Tobago, the Tobago branch or the Tobago um, uh, sector of it, uh, give us a, just a quick, what makes up the Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association in terms of regions or sections? Because I would have assumed naturally it might be wherever there's an RHE, but apparently that's not the structure of the association. So let's bring some clarity as we get started this morning. Okay, so the Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association, we um, have four branches. The four branches comprise Tobago Branch, that's us here in Tobago, which will cover the health centers, the primary care, Roxborough Health, Roxborough um, Hospital, and the Scarborough General Hospital. We have South, which will South Branch, which will cover Point Fourteen and San Fernando and parts of South, and we also have the Northern Branch, which will cover North Central and uh, Port of Spain and Environs, and we also have the Eastern Branch, which will cover the Eastern Regional Health Authority and the Environs, the health centers within that area. All right, so tell us a little bit about the kickstart that has happened in this week with the national celebrations, and then we zone into uh, Tobago and, and our branch here. Okay, so... On, the, on May the 12th every year, we celebrate International Nurses Day. This is a celebration that has come about because of the, this is the anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birthday. So this year, the theme for our International Nurses Day celebrations as um, sanctioned by the International Nurses Council is our nurses, our future. So we would have kick-started our Nurses Week celebration, which started on the 7th and will end on the 12th, which is tomorrow. We, it was kick-started in Trinidad with a luncheon at Cruise Inn in Trinidad. So for Tobago, tomorrow we will start our, we started doing stuff throughout the week, but tomorrow we'll have our Thanksgiving service at the Shaw Park Cultural Complex, which will include all the nurses on, in our Tobago space, both retirees and present nurses. Interesting concept. Tell me about that in terms of catering to the, the, the collective, because, you know, I, I have a colleague through one of my organizations, and the, the statement is often made, when you're in a profession like nursing, you're always, even when you retire, you went, you're still able and capable, you can continue to deliver service. Tell us about that connection, about ensuring the combination of both between those who have retired, still able and capable, and contributing, and also actively in the service. Okay, so as the team suggests, our nurses, our future, in, in order to go into the future, we have to remember where we came from, which is the past. So therefore, our retired persons and personnel are very important in helping us to take the lead and to invest in the future, which are now the young nurses, the student nurses, the nurses who are working at present. We are the future. So we need the retirees who are the past to help us navigate towards the future. All right, excellent. So we've spoken about the church service. Uh, you also have an initiative that's happening today, um, internal? Yes. So at the Roxborough Hospital, they, they will, will kick off their celebrations with an entrepreneurial uh, nursing show where the nurses will come out and show case what they can do right. so that persons will be able to visit the Roxborough Health, the, the Roxborough Hospital and celebrate Nurses Week with the Nurses Day. It's not just about working, it's also about giving back to the 
community and giving back to society. So the nurses will be showcasing their entrepreneurial skills as well today. All right. And the church service, uh, has it, uh, in terms of where is it carded for, the venue and time, has that been confirmed just yet? The venue is at the Shaw Park Cultural, ah, yes. the Shaw Park Cultural Complex, and it will begin at 9 a.m. All right, good. So we are inviting all the nursing personnel in the Tobago space, primary care, tertiary care, retirees, come out. If you have your uniforms, come out in your uniforms. If you still have the last uniform that you would have worn and it can fit, come out in your uniform and let us make this celebration big because, as you know, the nurses, we would have gone through a whole lot during the pandemic. So we just want to celebrate and give thanks for all that we would have been able to accomplish this far um, throughout that period and going forward. And let me take this opportunity to join in with Trinidad and Tobago in terms of saluting our nurses and medical professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, really doing an exceptional job mm -hmm. um, in that entire time of the pandemic to steer us through mm -hmm. um, a very, very challenging times mm -hmm. and the critical role that our nurses certainly play. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I understand that there will also be um, some lighter side type activities, sip and paint and so on. Tell us, tell us a little bit about those. Not open for the general public, but bringing together your um, you know, nurses and they. Yeah. The sip and paint, um, that will be part of the Roxborough calendar of events. Right. So they will have a sip and paint, they will have the entrepreneurial day, which is today, and uh, they will also have a treasure hunt, right? The... And let me just get the team to pull that up on screen for us. The persons mm -hmm. will also get the uh, the visual with regards to it. One carded for Friday the 12th being the church service, and then the 18th we go on to the sip and paint um, mm -hmm. as part of the celebration activities. So we see the sip and paint there um, is carded to take place at the Roxborough facility on Tuesday the 18th of May. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then is the activity on the twenty fifth where we would um, close uh, the 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 week long the sorry the month uh, celebrations. That is that is at the Roxborough Hospital. So this calendar here, this demonstrates what the Roxborough Hospital nurses will be doing to commemorate Nurses Week. All right. So for the Scarborough General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Because, the, because nursing as a profession is very unique, nursing and midwifery, the, in order to take us to the future, to, the other, to, the, to that level, we want to be able to have a lot of educational programs as well, right? So at the Scarborough General Hospital, we have decided that we will be doing educational days for the um, nursing staff and nursing personnel. We will also be having a recognition award um, to, that will be happening sometime in the month of May. Also, we will be having uh, what we usually call Nurses Got Talent. In, it might be in another form instead of the regular um, set up in the courtyard and the nurses come out and display their, their, what they can do because, you know, nurses also are very entrepreneurial. We have a lot of skills. We have a lot of hairdressers. We have event managers. We have a lot of different, um, we have horticulturalists that, yes. and stuff like that. So we want to showcase not only the professional side of what we do, but also what we can do in our downtime to assist us to be able to function holistically as caregivers. And it, you know, it, it speaks to one of my colleagues, Ms. Ashton, um, always reminding how important self-care is. And I suppose naturally, when you have come through the pressures of a day as a professional, what do you do to keep yourself going or to rejuvenate uh, in that context? So important for medical medical professionals in the field. Any other activities that you would want to highlight before we uh, close off this morning's interview in terms of the happenings as we celebrate nurses in 2023? 
All right. So as we invest in the future of the nurses, before we even talk about what we will be um, culminating this Nurses Week celebration with, we need to be reminded that we are a unique body of professionals. This, by our uniqueness, we have been able to use evidence-based research to charter the course forward for nurses. So we also speak to professionalism, professional behaviors. We also speak to the skills of the nurses and also research. So going forward, one of the, one of the things that we as the nursing body and the professional organization of Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago Registered Nurses Association, one of the things that we hope to achieve is to invest, invest in the future of nurses through educational courses and continuing education. To culminate the nursing week activities, and it, well, I shouldn't say the week, but at the end of the month, we'll we will be having, <laughs> right? We will be having our sports and family day at the Buku Integrated Facility. At this sports and family day, the Trinidad branch, the Trinidad team will also be present. They'll be coming up to join us. This is our signature event, so it would, it's going to be an event happening every year on the 30th of May. So we want to invite all our friends and our family and the hospital. So it will be the Roxborough Hospital, the community setting, Trinidad, and the Scarborough General Hospital nurses and their family coming out to have a fun, filled day and downtime, right? Excellent. So that is how we will culminate the nurses all month. Right. Very interesting. So folks, we started off with nurses week, but you realize this is going all out. It's important because you've got to take this time out um, in terms of really recuperating, uh, you know, and kind of being able to re-energize yourselves to head on out again. So we want to say thank you very much to Lorraine Roberts, lead staff representative of the Toronto Tobago Registered Nurses thank Association, you. the Tobago branch. Now I can see that with a greater degree of confidence <laughs> and understanding the Tobago branch representing here this morning and bringing us the highlights that will be taking place in terms of uh, the celebration, Montong celebration for uh, happening, particularly in the Tobago space and what's happening at the national level and certainly the culmination that takes place for Trinidad and Tobago happening on the 30th of May. And there's that call for all uh, nurses to come out, come out, come out in support. Uh, whether you have retired or you are still in active service, this is your opportunity to come together to celebrate. I'd really like to see that very interesting displays of uniforms over that, over that period of time. And you know that sense of pride yeah. uh, that nurses will be able to uh, come out with most definitely. The viewers, we want to thank you so much for continuing to choose the Tobago Updates morning show. Coming up in our next segment this morning, we will be talking as we head on into a Mother's Day concert. We have on screen Carol Warner and Akila Morton as we speak music amateurs, Mother's Day uh, concert. We look forward to those upcoming details. And to remind you at this point, viewers, that this is your opportunity to share the live, share the live, share the live. <laughs>